Gasworks Park History Gasworks Park is the only remaining coal gasification plant in the entire U.S. Many Seattle residents and tourists come to Gasworks Park to see downtown's most beautiful viewpoint. The Seattle Gas Company originally bought land on the north shore of Lake Union to build an industrial gas plant in 1906. In today's world, the land has been reintroduced as a public park for anyone wanting to see downtown Seattle. From the start of the 1900s, millions of barrels of gas were imported through pipelines that ranged 1,071 miles to serve Seattle, Kent, and Tukwila. It was Seattle's and other surrounding areas' primary source of power from 1906 to 1956. However, on December 21st, 1956, the Trans Mountain Pipeline in Canada was opened that supplied a much clean energy system, so the plant was forced to shut down at the end of 1956. From 50 years of usage in the plant, enough pollution had caused the area to be closed off, so no swimming or fishing was allowed. For 20 years, the plant was closed and left behind, which made it look like a complete desolate wasteland. This was until July 1976, when architect Richard Hagg introduced Gasworks Park to the public. Here is Richard's master plan of the park, where he would plan to use the original pipes and industrial machines to serve as structures for people to see. Here's a graphic Richard created and envisioned which shows children playing at the park. The towers are very unique and encapsulates a historic aesthetic and utilitarian value, as Richard said in his master plan. On top of this, Richard's main argument to build the park was deemed to preserve and reuse key structures to keep Seattle's rich history to be remembered. Here is an article made by a local newspaper in the 70s showing the difference in layout of the land used to build the park. This transformation from an abandoned energy plant into a public park won Richard the American Society of Landscape Architect Award for Design Excellence. He is the only person in history to receive two of these awards. There are seven distinct areas in the park that compose Gasworks. To name a few, the Great Mound stands on the west side, looking over Lake Union. And here are the towers and machines themselves. And then here's the North Lawn, where people can enjoy picnicking. Overall, Gasworks Park is one of Seattle's most famous areas. It has been included in films and TV shows such as 10 Things I Hate About You. It is rich with Seattle history and has one of the best viewpoints for anyone to see. Thanks for watching.